Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss how to create new columns in Pandas using some if else type of conditions, right? So for example, let's say this is my data set and I have the column still profit, the state and profit category columns I need to create. So we will discuss two scenarios. We will create a new column stays state using city column, which means based on the city, I want to drive state. So for example, if it is Bangalore, then Karnataka, if it is Chennai, then Tamil Nadu, if it is again Mysore, then Karnataka, right? The second scenario we want to discuss is based on a profit column. So what I want to do, if the profit is less than 250, less than equal to 250, I want to make a bucket that this is low profit bucket, right? If it is between 250 and 500, then medium profit. If it is more than 500, then high profit, right? So these kind of scenarios you will face in your day-to-day -day work are very commonly. So we will discuss how we can do it. So this is my input database. So I am going to just run this now. Okay. So I don't have state and profit category here, right? I'll just remove it for now. We don't need it. Okay. So this is my input data set. So let's try to understand how we can do it. So let's insert another cell and now what I will say. So first of all, we need to some kind of do filtering, right? Whenever the, so let's look at the first scenario where we have to drive new column based on city. So I have to do filtering that whenever Bangalore is there, put it as Karnataka, right? So in data frames, how do we filter data? We will say DF, DF column, right? So column is city. So I want df city equal to equal to Bangalore, right? So if I do this, what will happen? This will return a series of true and false, right? So if I just run this thing and run, if you see, it is returning a series of true false, right? So this is true, true. First two rows are true because city equal to Bangalore. Now, if I want to, if I want only this data in the output, so I can I can pass this series in the square bracket. So it is true for first two rows. So it will give first two rows from the DF. I run this. We are getting these two rows, right? Now we have another function df.log. Okay, we can run this as well. But the advantage of df.log is you can pass another parameter, which is your new column name. So my new column name is state. So I'm saying wherever df.city equal to equal to Bangalore, they are assigned the value as Karnataka, right? And this is my new column state. So it will automatically create a state column and wherever the city is Bangalore, right? It will assign the value to Karnataka for state column, right? So let's see what is in the output. So if you see, we have got the new column state and we have got the value as Karnataka for Bangalore, Bangalore. For others, nothing because we just assigned value for for Bangalore city. For others are null. These are kind of null, not a number. In pandas, they are they are denoted as NAS, not a number. Uh, it is equivalent to null in SQL. Okay. Now similarly, I have to do this exercise for other columns as well. So for example, if the city is Chennai and TN, right? And again, if the city is Mysore, I need to assign it to Karnataka. Let's run this. And we have all the states, right? Now, one more optimization we can do is like multiple cities can be in the same state and we don't have to run different statement for each one of them. What we can do, we have another method. So let me just run this again. So our DF is back this, right? We don't have new columns now in our DF. Now what I will do, instead of these two statements, I will say, let me just copy. I will say, instead of equal to, this is in operator. So I will say where DF city is in, is in and within square bracket, uh, within round brackets, we can pass a list. So if it is in Bangalore, or Mysore, right? Then make it Karnataka. I'm just going to remove these two, right? 
now i'm saying if city is chennai then make it tamil nadu if the city is in bangalore or mysore then we can pass as many elements we want here in this list for all of them it will become karnataka so if i run this we have got the required output again right i hope this makes sense so you have to use def dot loc location pass the filter right for that filter what value you want to give and your new column name right so this is about the string columns now what about the based on if we want to do based on a integer column like profit like we want we want to create a bucket so for that it is very similar so let me copy this okay i will say df dot log df now we want based on profit right so we will say profit less than or equal to 250 right so new column name let's say profit category and i will say it is a low profit right very similar just instead of equal to i am saying less than or equal to 250 create a new column it will be low profit so let's run this okay let's print df if you see we have another column now profit category right now one thing important is here now next in next we have to give a range right because if i say because if i simply say less than equal to 500 it will make it will make the these ones also less than 250 ones also medium profit right so that will be wrong so if i run this and if you see see everything is medium profit because this statement is capturing everything so we have to give a range so what i should do i will say if it is greater than greater than 250 and we have to use this and sign and df dot profit less than equal to 500 right then medium profit now one thing important is if you are in pandas giving multiple condition using and or or you have to put all the conditions in round bracket like this like this otherwise it will give you error if i run this now if you see we have got medium profit low profit now we need one last thing for the high profit so let me copy this and i will say if it is greater than 500 then high profit right so this is how you are creating a conditional columns in pandas using the existing columns okay i hope it makes sense i will put the csv data for this file okay and i will also put this code in case it is little bit confusing so that you can refer this please do like this video so that other people can also learn this very important concept and do like and share this video and keep watching more videos on the pandas python for data analysis playlist thanks for watching have a good day